Hi there, this is the fourth part of the CSCAP spot trading course. In this video, we will show you how to make your first trade on the spot Binance market. And we will show you how to buy and sell your cryptocurrency through the Binance interface, through the Binance chart and through the professional CSCAP terminal. We will also show you what kind of orders could be used in spot trading, how they work and how they differ from each other. If you are a beginner, I really recommend you to watch the previous videos. The link you will find in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we are getting started. For spot trading on Binance, you must have funds on your spot wallet. Let's take a closer look. We go here to Fiat and Spot and here we have $39. A spot wallet is a trader's main account on Binance. Funds are credited to this account if you buy a cryptocurrency with a bank card on the spot market or transfer from a crypto wallet or another exchange. If you deposit your account through P2P, your cryptocurrency will fall into funding wallet. We need to transfer it to a spot wallet. If the cryptocurrency is in your spot wallet, you can start trading. But first, let's take a look at what orders Binance offers for spot trading. We go to Trade tab and Spot. We have already mentioned uh, the interface in the previous video. We dismantled all the functions here. And now we go to the main trading interface. Let's talk about the types of orders. First of all, Limit Order. Limit Order is an order in the Depth of Market or Order Book here for a certain number of contracts. It's executed when its price uh, is reached. Among the pros, two times lower commission compared to market orders and execution priority. The execution of your limit order is much faster than the execution of a uh, market order. Cons, you can place orders in the corresponding zone of the order book to buy in the buyer zone and to sell in the seller's zone. The next type of uh, orders, market order. Market order is immediate execution of the order. Uh, among the pros entering the trade here and right now, and among the cons, uh, higher fees, and uh, your trade could be opened at uh, worse price, especially during high volatility. Then what is a limit stop order? A limit stop order has a stop price and a limit price. You can set the minimum amount of the profit you are willing to receive or the maximum loss per this trade. A limit order will be automatically placed when the activation price is reached. Limit stop orders are a good tool for limiting losses that may occur during your trade. For example, BTC is trading at $40,000 and you place a limit stop order with a stop price of $39. 500 and the limit price of 39,000. A 39,000 limit order will be placed when the price drops from 40,000 to 39,500. I hope it's clear. The next type of stop is a trailing stop. The trailing stop is a modification of a typical stop order that can be set at a defined percentage or dollar amount away from your uh, instrument's current market price. Usually it's used, for example, if you have some profitable position and you are going to bet, leaving the trailing stop. This trailing stop will be following the price inside the profitable position. It's a kind of profit optimization. And finally, OCO. Uh, one cancels the other. This order is a combination of limit order and the limit stop order. You place two orders at the same time. But as soon as one of them is triggered, the second order is cancelled. As a result, only one of the orders is executed. For example, the price of BTC is at $4,000. You can place an OCO order to buy one BTC more when the price reaches $39,000 or sell when the price rises to $41,000. Uh, one of the orders will be executed first which means that the second one will be automatically cancelled. Now let's make our first trade. For example, let it be BNB USDT. We choose this. And let's try to make a market order, which is a market. The price is current 
and we make an order for 30 USDT by BNB. Market buy order created. Now uh, $9 available as you see because we spent $30. In the order history we see that we just bought uh, the BNB and all the data, all the information displayed here. When we go to Fiat and Spot, we can see this instrument in our portfolio. As you see, BNB for $30. Now we sell our BNB. We can choose the amount, but I uh, decide to sell all the amount for $29. Sell BNB. The order has been executed. Now we see again available almost $39. Now let's try to do this through limit order. For example, I believe that the BNB will sink to 204. In other words, I am expecting such a kind of movement from where I would like to buy out this instrument. I will place uh, the buy limit order here. And when the price reaches this uh, price level, my order will be executed. We choose limit order. We stipulate the price 204.0 and the amount. And uh, let's say it will be $20 by BNB. Buy limit order created. Here we see uh, the list of open orders. And here we see our limit order. The price, the amount, the type, the pair, and the date. Uh, let's imagine my position has been already executed. And we would like to place a sell limit order here. I'm expecting the price to reach this level, for example, 211.8. And I'm placing uh, the limit order, the sell limit order, 211.8, or the BNB I have. Limit sell order created. And here we see again uh, almost the same limit order but for sale. Nothing difficult. Another Binance interface feature is that we can make an order right through the graph. You can see across here and to make an order through the chart we can click on this plus, choose a type of order, for example create new order and here we customize our choice limit or stop limit buy or sell almost the same but this kind of uh, making an order is quite inconvenient most traders who are trading through the binance interface usually use this model now let's switch to the syscap trading terminal and i will show you how to make the trades through this terminal in the previous videos we described uh, the interface of the syscap and now uh, let's start from the market orders. How to buy uh, the instrument using market order. I have chosen ID USDT instrument. Uh, on the right side you see the order book of the instrument and on the left side you see the graph. For example, we would like to buy uh, this instrument for $20. We choose here the amount $20. We click input in dollars and we got 97 lots. 97 lots is equal to $20 position. If we multiply 97 by the current price, we will get $20. To buy this instrument right here and right now for $20, we click left mouse button on the red zone. The order is executed. We just bought ID USDT for $20. As you see, the position was instantly opened. And now if I want to sell the same amount of uh, this instrument, I click right mouse button on the green side. We instantly sell this amount of instrument. And now let's imagine the price will drop to uh, 0 0.2268. Uh, and here I'm expecting the price to pull back and rise again. I will place the limit order for purchase here, 0 0.2268. Just clicking left mouse button, but on the green zone. Here you see our limit order is placed. And when the price reaches it, it will be executed. Let's imagine we have already executed our limit order or we have some BNB on our portfolio. And we are expecting uh, this uh, slope to be broken. 
and our target is uh, 0.2785 and we would like to place the limit order for sale here to fix our profit let's say 0.2079 we would like to put uh, the limit order for sale for the same amount of uh, lots here and we choose the same amount of lots and we click right mouse button on the red side. Our limit order is placed and ready to be executed. When the price reaches it, position will be sold and closed with a profit. To cancel all the limit orders and uh, to close the current position simultaneously, we can press D and all the positions will be closed. I hope this video was useful. We just figured out how to trade through the Binance interface and how to make the trades through the Cisco trading terminal. There is nothing difficult in Binance interface and even more in the Cisco interface. This is the matter of time and practice just to get used to it. In the next video, we will discuss different approach to spot trading. We will discuss such styles as scalping, intraday trading, positional trading and investing. If you have some questions, write them in the comments below and we will answer them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Wish you good luck in your trading.